11% of the state is into D3, uh, extreme drought, with the rest of the state at D2 or D1. The recent precipitation did help somewhat, but not enough to slow the expansion of the area now dealing with an extreme drought. From Stafford County, uh, we did extend D3 west into the Mer upper Merrimack Valley. The Merrimack River is down about a foot from where it should be at this time of year. It's still in a better place than it was in August when the situation was even worse. But about 400,000 Granite Staters are currently dealing with some sort of water restrictions, according to the state, and groundwater levels are continuing to lower. This impacts well systems across the state, both for community water systems and for residential wells. If you're wondering about your individual well, there are some things you can check. Look around your neighborhood, see what the surface waters look like. Are your ponds low? Are your streams low? If they are, that's telling you that surface waters and groundwaters are falling in your neighborhood. Other indicators of a problem, changes in water color, changes in the taste of water, and change in the smell. Given the current situation, the state says water conservation is increasingly important. You should work to make sure that your children understand about brushing their teeth, turn the water off, really simple things like that, to running full dishwashers and full laundry loads. There is still some time to recharge groundwaters. The ground won't freeze until late December or early January, but at that point, no more water will find its way underground. Only rivers and streams and ponds that are not frozen on the bottom then contribute to groundwater. And that will set us up in a uh, not good place for going into the wintertime and springtime. Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.